Well, I brought back the winter coat tonight. There you go. You're going <laughs> to need it. It was this morning we were in the low 20s. I uh, mean, come on now. I mean, come on. Let's keep going. That's my attitude. <laughs> but uh, it, that, that's probably as cold as we're going to go for the next little while, thankfully. For many of you folks out there, fine people, we're sitting in the 50s in, in, in many places for the high. Uh, that was not necessarily the warmest that we've been in a while, but in, in Harrisburg it was. It actually was perfectly normal for this time of year. The low, however, completely different story. Nearly 10 degrees below the average for uh, for uh, the annual in, uh, on this day in November. So just a very, very kind of... Uh, bizarre and very, very chilly pattern we've had setting up. And a lot of that has to do with just enhanced cloud cover that we've had in many, or it, it decreased cloud cover in many places that has resulted in a lot of this heat being able to escape at night. And we have that similar s scenario already playing out. Some places like Gettysburg already below freezing, 29 degrees there. Now, thankfully, Harrisburg sitting at 37 degrees, some of us in the 40s, Loisville at 43, Mifflin Town is at 52, kind of all over the place. And you see a similar picture when you go nationwide, especially in the Midwest. You got places like Marquette sitting at 28, then you got Springfield at 37, Omaha at 51. So, uh, you know, kind of a same thing that we're seeing, a mirror, if you will, of what we're seeing in Pennsylvania, the higher pressure that we're seeing continuing to persist across the area. And that's going to keep those clear skies in play. However, with that said, Cold front making its way through tonight, not really a very strong one. What it's going to do is it's going to keep our pattern basically how it's been, uh, which has been highs in the 50s, lows in the 40s, maybe 30s, some clearer skies, some more sunshine. We're still waiting for that one big rain chance to kind of help knock back against this drought that's starting to build back up again. It's been a real problem. Unfortunately, for the next several days, not looking like we're going to get any relief. I will say this, heading into the later part of uh, this weekend, into the weekend Friday, would you have a rain chance there that will bring a few showers? Not going to be very high in terms of totals. That's just not what we've seen from the latest model outputs. Then we cool down again heading into next week. So rinse and repeat and uh, more trench coats needed as you head out the door. All right. Thanks, Jax.